Hola a todos, soy Javier Poveda y esto es De Bien TV, el canal en el que te lo vas a pasar de bien mientras aprendes geografía, historia e historia del arte. Este vídeo va dirigido a mis alumnos de primero de la ESO de sección del CEIPSO, el Encinar de Torrelodones. So in this video we are going to learn how to solve map scale problems and time zone problems, okay? Let's say, well, let's start with the map scales problems. Let's say we have a map with a numerical scale of, let's say, 1 divided by 500,000. This means that one centimeter in the map equals to 500,000 centimeters in reality. Okay? So, the problem says, what is the real distance measured in kilometers between two points? Let's say between points A and B. What do we have to do? First, we take a ruler, for example, a ruler like this, and we measure the distance of the, these two points on the map. And let's say the distance in the map is two centimeters. So how do we know the real distance of these two points in reality? Okay, the real distance in reality. This is not uh, correct, but you understand me, okay? What is the real distance between point A and B if in a map with a numerical scale of one divided by 500,000, the distance in the map is two centimeters? So we know that one centimeter in the map equals to 500,000 centimeters in reality. What do we do first? First, since we need to know the distance in kilometers, we have to convert this number to kilometers. How many kilometers are 500,000 centimeters? You know, you know that we have to divide by 100,000. So five zeros. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. So, one centimeter in the map equals to five kilometers in reality. Since the distance of between point A and point B in the map is two centimeters, we have to multiply the distance by the kilometers of the scale. 2 multiplied by 5 equals to 10 kilometers in reality. So the distance, the real distance between point A and B is 10 kilometers. Okay, let's make another example. Let's say that now we have a map with a scale, let's say, hmm, one divided by, hmm, this eraser is not very good, let's say one divided by two million. This means that one centimeter measured in the map equals to two thousand two million, I mean, centimeters in reality. That is what the map scale says, says to us. So here is another way of solving this problem. Let's say that we are asked for the distance between point A and B, and this distance measured with a roller is, I don't know, 10 centimeters. Okay, measured with the roller. So let's make it um, in another way. First, we can multiply this one centimeter by 10 centimeters. So we are looking for 10 centimeters, right? So if one centimeter equals to 2 million centimeters, in reality, 10 centimeters equals to 2 million multiplied by 10, 20 million centimeters in reality. 
okay? If one centimeter equals to two million centimeters in reality, 10 centimeters equals equal to 20 million centimeters in reality. But we are asked for the distance in kilometers. So we have to convert this real distance in centimeters to kilometers. We have to divide it by 100,000. Five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. The real distance is 200 kilometers between the points A and B. Okay? It is really easy. You just have to. You just need to know the state. The, uh, to know these steps in order to solve this problem. And now, let's go, or let's make. Let's solve some time zones problems. Remember that in map scale problems, you will be always asked for the distance, the, for the real distance in kilometers, but the map scales is displayed in centimeters, okay? Because the map is, uh, is a small surface. So time zones. We know that the, the, the Earth is divided in 24 time zones, okay? You know, if this is the surface of the Earth, the Earth is divided in several time zones. And the most important time zone is the time zone of the Greenwich Meridian, which is Meridian Zero. This time zone is, is known as GMT, which, which is time zone zero, and it means Greenwich Meridian time. So let's say that, well, and we have, before that, we have um, 11, we have 12 time zones here, uh, to the right and 12 time zones to the left. So in order to know the time of uh, any location in the Earth, we have to use these time zones. For example, the problem says it is 6 p.m. in Spain, okay? What is the time in New York? So first, we have to look at the time zones of those two points. We know Spain is in time zone GMT plus one. Okay, time zones can be positive or negative. Okay. Spain is located in time zone plus one and New York we look it at that in, that in a time zones map and New York is located in the time zone minus five. Okay? So if it is 6 p.m. in Spain, what is the time in New York? If it's 6 p.m. in Spain, what is the time in New York? If it's 6 p.m. in the time zone plus one, what is the time? in the time zone minus five. So we, we first, we need to know in which direction we are traveling, okay? If we travel to the east, we have to add hour, an hour for each time zone we travel. If we travel to the west, we have to subtract one hour for each time zone. In this problem, we have to travel one, two, three, four, five, six time zones to the west. So we have to subtract six hours to the time of Spain. 6 p.m. minus six hours. It is 12 in the morning. It is midday in New York. So the solution is 12 in the morning, okay? Let's do another problem. Let's say again that it is 6 p.m. in Spain. And they say, if it is 6 p.m. in Spain, what is the time in the time zone? Let's say um, plus 9. 
what is the time in the time zone plus 9. So we know that Spain is in the time zone plus 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we need to know the time in the time zone plus 9. Remember that if we travel west, we have to add one hour for each time zone, okay? And if it is, um, no, if we travel east, we have to add one hour. If we travel west, we have to subtract one hour. So we start in Spain and we need to travel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight time zones to the east. So we need to add one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have to add eight hours to the time in Spain. So six plus eight is four. Well, it's fourteen, but six the um, six in the evening plus eight hours means that in the time zone plus nine it is midnight. It is midnight of the next day, okay? Because you know the next day starts at midnight. Okay, this is very easy. Let's go for the last example. And now this uh, random problem says that, let's say it is mm, nine in the morning in London. What is the time in the time zone minus 10? Let's write it here. In the time zone, minus 10, what is the time if it is 9 in the morning in London? We know that London is in the time zone 0, in the Greenwich Meridian time. Because you know Greenwich is in London. So, time zone, minus 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Minus 10. Remember, the time zones west to the Greenwich Meridian time are negative and east of the Greenwich Meridian time are positive, okay? So, we have to travel to the west. So, we need to subtract one hour to the time for each time zone we travel. We start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have to subtract nine hour, 10 hours to the time in London. So, 9 in the morning minus 10 hours means that in the time zone minus 10, it is 11 in the night or in the evening <clears throat> in this time zone. But, be careful with this, it's 11 of the previous day. Previous, previous day. Okay? It is very easy. In order to solve a time zone problem, it is uh, a, a good trick, a good clue, or a suggestion I give to you, is to draw this line and look at how many jumps, how many time zones you have to travel. If you go westward, you have to subtract. If you go eastward, you have to add an hour for each time zone you travel. Okay? And this is all for this video. Okay? I hope you find it you found it easy and if you have any kind of doubt or, que or question you can write me on email on chat on the virtual classroom and also you can follow me on my Instagram in which is in the description in the description like here of this video. Thank you so much for watching it this and we will see each other on the next one. Mm.